Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, third class medical regulatory relief is alive. Boeing is happy about the year 2016 delivery numbers. Unique introduces their new H520 commercial drone. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's January 11th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. There is a lot of excitement over the FAA releasing of their third class medical regulatory relief that takes place on May 1st of this year. The details of the regulations can be found on the FAA website and other websites such as EAA and AOPA. Let's review the broad picture of what this means. Third class medical requirements apply to student pilots who are not sport pilot students and pilots exercising the privileges of recreational pilot and private pilot. Up until this, regulatory relief takes place. A third class medical is required to exercise these pilot privileges. After May 1st, pilots exercising these privileges must still either hold or have held a third class medical issued by an FAA approved medical examiner at some time. The regulatory relief provided under the new regulation simply allows an alternative method of continuing to meet minimum medical standards without being issued continued third class medicals by FAA. FAA medical examiners. Pilots will now have the choice of continuing to maintain a third class medical or demonstrating medical compliance under the guidance of the new regulations. It will be up to individual pilots to determine which means of medical compliance best suits their personal situation. According to a Boeing report, they sing pleased with strong commercial delivery numbers in 2016, and they also say they've achieved several airplane program milestones. The company delivered 748 commercial airplanes in 2016. According to the report, Boeing booked 668 net orders valued at $94.1 billion at list prices. The backlog at the end of the year stood at 5,715 unfulfilled commercial orders. Key Boeing milestones for the year included the first flight of the 737 MAX, the opening of the 777X Composite Wing Center in Everett, Washington, and the start of 787-10 Final Assembly in their North Charleston, South Carolina facility. The company delivered 497 37 aircraft and reports a backlog of 4,452 for the single aisle airplane. The company delivered 137 Dreamliners of all variants and carries a backlog of 700 unfilled orders. Boeing delivered 99 777s during the year and has a backlog of 442 airplanes. After the break, Unique targets the commercial market with their new drone. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at earl-news.net. Unique International has expanded of its commercial UAV offerings with the unveiling of their new H520 SUAS. They are referring to it as an advanced six-rotor drone for commercial applications. The company says the H520 builds off Unique's proven six-rotor platform and incorporates industry-first commercial-grade cameras and applications for high-end commercial use. The H520 offers longer flight time, greater payload, modular design, and enhanced components. 
The H520 is engineered for optimal use in industrial and commercial environments and features a high visibility hazard orange fuselage and the H520 is capable of emergency flight with only five rotors operating. A 360 degree three axis gimbal coupled with retractable landing gear provides an unobstructed view from any angle. The camera and gimbal are capable of a 20 degree up angle for upward looking inspections. Unique will offer three camera options and the company says they are targeting the broadcast cinema and vertical inspection markets. The company will launch a software developer kit platform in the second quarter of 2017. With some 3,000 aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite aerial TV classic episodes. Well, it's been a kind of a fun process, uh, working closely with the EAA and the FAA. Uh, we've been working with the FAA for years on the right way to approach this. In this video, we get the inside story of how equipment previously only allowed for experimental airplanes received approval to be installed in type certificated airplanes. This all started last year and it's a huge step forward. Search Dynon plus EAA equals progress on Aerial TV's news channel. After these messages, small drones now get FLIR cameras. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, Laura Hudson is summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Thanks, Chris. FLIR has introduced a line of new thermal cameras, including two designed specifically for drones. The FLIR Duo is the drone industry's first multi-sensor camera that features FLIR's leptin thermal micro camera core, a high-definition 1080 pixel visible camera. Drone-related technology continues to expand. Sequoia Civil Aircraft has completed repair work on six Sequoia Superjet 100 airliners for Interjet Airline which were previously reported as grounded. 22 SCA technical specialists were sent to Mexico for the warranty maintenance work. The Lynx FBO network completed two acquisitions at Anoka County Blaine Airport serving the Minneapolis-St. Paul metropolitan area. Lynx simultaneously acquired both Cyrus Flight Operations and key Air Twin Cities. These marked the third and fourth acquisitions for Lynx in four months of operations. Duncan Aviation has launched an exclusive customer program encouraging business aircraft operators to solidify their upgrade plans to meet ADSB compliance. Duncan has allotted two slots per satellite location per month for ADSB upgrades that operators may reserve. AirMed International has opened a BeachJet 400 base at Cincinnati Municipal Lunkin Airport to serve air medical and organ transport flights. AirMed says the new base allows them to extend their footprint in the Midwest and gives their partners increased efficiencies. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Back to Chris for the rest of the news. Thanks, Laura. Things happen fast in the space travel business, and that includes the decision whether or not to launch. After reporting last week that SpaceX was back in the launch business, a tweet from their launch customer, Iridium, indicates that the launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base has now been shifted to January 14th. The company tweeted over the weekend that the launch had been postponed due to high winds and rain in forecast at Vandenberg Air Force Base area. As reported, a major winter storm was approaching the California coast over the weekend, and SpaceX also tweeted that the launch had been scrubbed due to weather. According to SpaceX, 
Other range conflicts this week results in the next available launch date being January 14th. The delayed launch will be carrying 10 satellites into orbit for Iridium Communications. SpaceX is working towards returning to flight after a launch pad anomaly related to fueling on September 1st destroyed a Falcon 9 booster and its payload. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.